YouTube channel. So today's video is another balloon tutorial. It is going to be a Tutti Frutti balloon garland. So again, uh, today is weekend and uh, it's filming day for us. So yeah, uh, this is going to be for another client. Uh, it's for an 11th birthday and she decided, um, her daughter, uh, she decided to make a Tutti Frutti theme. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out all their supplies. Okay guys, so these are all the supplies that I am going to use for this balloon garland. So as you can see, the colors are um, in red, yellow, green. I am going to add I am going to add these foil balloons pineapple and watermelon foil balloons and we also have here uh, the 5 inches uh, latex balloons which I am going to add onto the garland after I do the base and then these are my extra 16 inches uh, latex balloon of course my electric pump and uh, for this garland, I am going to use my fishing line, the 10 pound fishing line. And then this is a double sided tape. I will be using this tape to uh, attach my foil balloons to the garland later. And yeah. Um. This uh, hand pump, I will be using this to inflate my uh, 5 inches uh, latex balloons. And yeah, so basically that's just it. Let's go ahead and blow up all of the balloons. And also guys, as to its size, I will also blow them up. Um, not too small because I already have my 5 inches balloons. So yeah, just uh, maybe about 7 to 9 inches or 6 to 9 inches big. You don't have to have a pattern in inflating all your balloons when it comes to balloon garland. Every time I inflate the balloons, sometimes it's, it is uh, in a pear shape. And uh, when I do my balloon garland, I usually want it to be rounder. So what I do is I just press the balloons press them on the floor so it kind of have a rounder shape Okay guys, so since I have a very limited space here, so I am just going to do the garland for now since I've, I have blown, I have inflated most of my balloons for the base. Uh, for the 5 inches, the small balloons, I'm going to inflate it later. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'll grab my fishing line and then 
tie it into my first pair. I'll grab my first pair of balloons. And then tie my fishing line. I always love to tie my fishing line and make a knot for three times just to make sure that your balloons are secured there here we go and then I am going to take my next pair of balloons so I just I am just going to stock it onto the first pair of balloons and then make an figure eight, make a figure eight. There we go. And so your second pair is already secured to the first pair. So now I'm gonna take one more. So uh, what I am going to do is to uh, place it on top of my second pair and then make a figure eight again. That's what we are going to do for the rest of our balloons. garland which will be placed on top on the top portion I need them to fit in my car so I have to do uh, two portions of the garland two separate portions of the garland so right now I am just tying my fishing line to my first pair again let's continue stacking all our garlands um, for the top portion of this uh, balloon. so now that I am done with the base of my balloon garland so it's time to set it up this time because I already planned that I am going to put it uh, in a backdrop uh, area so I placed a hook here so what it is going to do is I will um, hook the this string into here and then tie the string to the balloon garland so that you will be secured. 
what I'm doing right now is I just basically uh, tie the string or the curling ribbon and then uh, maybe tie the ribbon so I can hook it up. There you go. Okay, so next uh, we already hooked up our uh, this portion of the garland. So this one I am going to install it on the upper portion of the uh, backdrop. So the same, I am going to place a hook on that end of the backdrop and then uh, tie a string and then hook it up. So now that we have um, uh, attached our base, as I have mentioned to you guys earlier that I just uh, attached a command hook to my um, wall over there and then I hook it up using a string and also to this other end of the garland. So now what I am going to do is I will inflate all my uh, 5 uh, inches latex balloons and then um, maybe stick them to the spaces to fill it fill in fill up spaces of the garland okay guys so I am just going to pair them up all my uh, five inches uh, latex balloons small balloons I am also going to inflate my uh, foil uh, fruit balloons okay so we have inflated uh, both of our fru fruit balloon uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I will uh, put this in place first to the garland before I add all my small balloons to fill up spaces. So, okay, guys, so what I use here, I mentioned earlier that I am going to use a double sided tape, but since I am still going to transport the garland, I am just going to use a scotch tape for now so it will be easier for me to um, detach this foil balloon. I am putting the uh, foil balloon so as to show you guys where I am going to place it. our balloon garland so the small ball uh, the small latex balloons since I am going to stick it into the garland and I still have to transport this uh, I will be putting them up when I arrive to the uh, setup area so okay guys so my apologies if I wasn't able to video while I was attaching all of the small balloons but what I did is I used my um, glue dots to attach all those smaller balloons into the garland.
So we now have our fruity themed balloon garland. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And see you guys in our next video. Bye! Thank you.